I'm here at the Roma's Cafe with Nathan Richardson and Deanna Lee. Uh, Nathan, why don't you introduce us to Deanna? Tell us a little bit about her. Yeah, this is uh, Deanna Lee, one of the uh, slam champions of the Hampton Rose Youth Poets, the 2016 slam team. Uh, we competed this year, uh, Brave New Voices International Youth Poetry Slam. We came in second uh, on an international level, so we are second in the world. That's awesome. And, uh, yeah, so uh, we missed the title by .05, so oh. it was like a photo finish. <laughs> But, uh, you know, the organization, uh, the parent organization is Teens with a Purpose, which was founded uh, by uh, Miss Deidre Love. And so it's a year-round youth organization, peer-led organization, and poetry is just one of the elements of, of that organization. Poetry, uh, music, hip-hop, rap, dance, any, uh, any talents that teens have, they can use those talents to affect change in other, uh, in other teens. So, Deanna is, uh, is the shining example of all of that. And, uh, uh, Deanna, how would you say that uh, uh, being involved in this has uh, affected your life? Um, being involved in poetry has uh, helped me to learn to be more selfless and uh, really understand how powerful uh, the power of the tongue is and learning how I can use my words to be like a weapon uh, of a movement um, and how I can change someone's life who's going through something and how um, powerful a poem can really change someone's perspective. Someone can walk out feeling like they don't want to continue on and then um, hearing my words, it can be that one thing, like that one last bit of hope that they needed to to keep it going um, and it helped me be able to express myself better and, and not hold everything in and really just grow as a person. When I am puppets, they will make of me the perfect human being. I am running out of body parts to auction off. I spilled everything here. My heart, when bullets blew to pieces, every cousin I seen as big brother. My soul, when they sold everything mahogany. When every landmark I knew as an adolescent because Monopoly, my streets be gentrified. My mind, when analyzed it be disability. My learning not accredited. My school be halfway house, bridge between streets and prison. When they build internment camps and call them ghettos, deportation to death. Brick and stone, cause it housing for section eight, devise the wealthy from the poor, pours all the money into everything but my community. When red ink only bleeds from black canvases, I am running out of body parts to auction off. I've spilled everything here. What else can I give you? When I give them my teeth, my gums, my tongue, is human sacrifice not enough? They tell me that I still be three fifths. When they tell me I will never make it out, that masterpieces don't come from hands such as these brown and tough. When they say that I'm the cause of the genocide plague on my neighborhood. When they plague my neighborhood with crack and cocaine. When they tell me fixing myself but take away all my damn resources. My source of oxygen. I breathe nicotine on every corner store. I carry 12 and pregnant with no clinic, no disease prevention. Just drugstores and four locals to help abort the baby. And down the streets, I see men and women who don't look like me inhabiting my home. They push us here like the trails of tears. My tears are artificial like the food they give us. How dare you call this a home? When it's not even suited enough for animals. When you wouldn't even let your animals stay here. I've even tried to cleanse this brown. But pigmentation like this is never easy to get rid of. Every time you try to make me conform, my body and mind rebel. Black was never meant to be ordered by the likes of you. Never crafted to be puppet, but birthed to be anointed. Handcrafted by God, handmade, hand picked, hand stitched. I am a real girl. I am a real boy. Real blood, real tears. I am human. I am nobody's puppet. <laughs> Slow it down with his next piece. Mommy, if I was born, I tell you that you're beautiful every day. You remind me of the angels that I see here, pieces of art. They cradle me how I knew you would have. Mommy, if I were born, I tell you that you had more fight left than you thought. I tell you that you are a conqueror and stronger than every man that made his home inside of you and abandoned it, left it half lived in. I tell you that you are one of God's strongest soldiers. Through every battle, he brings you out stronger than before. Mommy, if I were born, I tell you that I'm sorry for breaking you down. For all the bonding moments you were forced to have with porcelain, it was the only way God knew how to get you on your knees to pray to him. Mommy, if I were born, 
we would have been the best of friends. I loved you even when you couldn't love past the reflection in the mirror. Self-love is such a rough journey. Mommy, and kicking was my only sign to show you that I was still there, to show you that I would never leave your side. Mommy, you were my first love. So don't ever think that you weren't worth loving, that you aren't whole, that you aren't holy, that you are in pieces because mommy, I promise when we meet, I will love you unconditionally, past all of your flaws, past all of your insecurities. Mommy, if I were born, I promise you, I would be the best mistake you ever made. God says we are all fearfully and wonderfully made. So mommy, just hold on because God never makes promises that he won't keep. Mommy, if I were born, I would hope that you could learn to love yourself the way that I love you. Whoa.